I have a new lighting solution from Lytra to show you today. In the last few years, I have reviewed the original Lytra portable lighting solution, the Lytra Torch, and then the larger Lytra Pro. Both are highly portable and they are high powered lighting solutions, as comfortable in the studio as they are outdoors and on a light stand or paired with an action camera. And we're talking waterproof too. Each model that Lytra has produced has gotten larger and more powerful, but they've stayed true to their roots as go anywhere solutions. I still use my Lytra torches and my Lytra pros. In fact, both are still available for purchase, but now there's this new solution, the Lytra Studio. But before we get there, members, I wanna remind you to check out the member feature this week. I am going through all of the gear that I have in the studio right now and giving you my first impressions of everything. If you are not a member, but you are curious about the weekly behind the scenes and extra videos, the long form courses and the special email address that members get to reach me more quickly, there is a link in the description below for you to find that, as well as a link to find this week's member feature. This new product from Lytra is a big deal in more ways than one. It is compact, wireless, waterproof down to 10 meters, and like the other Lytra products, it's extremely robust. These lights are built tough for the field, the studio, and anywhere in between. While the first couple offerings were kind of the action cameras of lighting, this is like maybe the DSLR or mirrorless camera of portable lighting, if you get my analogy there. There's more flexibility and more power. With three Lytra Studios in my hand, the included diffusers, and several additional modifiers that are available, my mind began to race. The question that these lights answer is, can we get super bright light, portable and wireless, while also being ready to stand up to either gentle or tough conditions? And if Lytra weren't focused on answering the question, we wouldn't have anything like this because I've not seen any other lighting company as focused as Lytra is on what it is that they deliver. The rugged, portable, ridiculous flexibility that we have here. Frankly, it's as tough to explain as it is to believe. There are just a lot of features and use cases that I can think of for this. Let's give it a shot though. Right now, I am using two Lytra Studios as my studio lighting, illuminating me now. I have corresponded with many of you about what a good lighting solution might be for your own filming. You wanna start a YouTube channel, but you don't have a large space to film in and you need gear that you might be able to put away. We'll get back to the putting away part later in this video, but I normally film in a large area. I am lucky that my husband didn't mind moving our bedroom into a smaller area of our home, so my office and filming area could be spread out. Yes, fun fact, this is supposed to be the master bedroom. <laughs> Anyway, I typically use several larger lights, but today I set up a corner of the room here with these Lytra Studios. They have given me plenty of light to work with, and I was able to adjust the power output and color temperature to get the look that I want. We also did a portrait shoot with them in the studio, and they are very bright. I do want to mention, because there is so much light coming from this relatively small surface area, you may have to change things up a little bit from your normal process, or maybe add an additional diffuser like this, or bounce the light off of a wall or a ceiling, especially if you're accustomed to working with larger umbrellas or soft boxes. I found that even using the soft boxes that you can purchase for these, I still wanted to soften the light further for portraits. You have another option though. With a $15 sync cable, you can run these lights like strobes and you'll get 6,000 lumens of strobe output compared to the 3,000 lumens that you get when using continuous. But you know what? Because we worked with three lights, each with 3,000 lumens, we did not even think about using the strobe option. We were turning down the output sometimes but if you need the power, it's there. One thing that I appreciate is that these lights are wireless. In the studio, you can move them around as you wish without tripping on cables. 
at full power, they will run for an hour and you can plug them in if the battery's low and they'll keep on going. Or like today where I'm going to be filming for a long time, so I just have them plugged in. But the wireless becomes the most convenient when we want to film or photograph in nature. You don't have to worry about bringing a power source. And each of these batteries that are fully removable from the unit, they're swappable and you can charge them when they're outside of the unit as well. So if you do plan to be shooting for a long while, like I am right now, you can have one battery charging with a power bank, maybe in the field, while you have another battery in the unit. And look closely at the battery here. It itself is a power bank. So if you have an extra battery or two, you're not only swapping batteries to keep shooting for longer, if you need to juice up your phone or even your camera, you actually have that solution as well. To me, this is beyond user-friendly because you can have several of the same battery and it has multiple uses. It's just more simple. And they could have left this feature out without apology, but here it is. A piece of that flexibility that I haven't mentioned is full color, over a million colors actually. The light can be controlled with an app to get all of those colors and brightness options, and there are controls on the unit as well. I can imagine a lot of uses for the color. Obviously, you can get creative with portraits, but if you're a filmmaker, there are even effects that can help you set the mood or give an impression of a certain environment. Really, the limits here are up to you because the lights themselves do the job in a bright and even multicolored way. One more thing, these are designed to be portable. And one thing that I love about what Lytra has done here is that they provide you with cases that meet the use of the lights. By that, I mean, this isn't just packaging. It is designed specifically for these lights to travel with you. Small, but with room for everything. I cannot say enough how important it is for portable gear to have portable homes designed for them. These are of a quality where they could unapologetically be separate accessories, but they're included, which is perfect. With their power, build, and waterproofness, these lights are telling you to be creative. Yes, you can put this in the bottom of a swimming pool and control the lighting color and brightness from your phone. You can go to a swamp or maybe you wanna shoot on a rainy day. You're covered. I like that I can have this one solution to meet the many challenges that I run into in my creative pursuits. Two things to be aware of. One, with power comes heat. So if you are using them at max power, as with anything, just be careful. They are designed to dissipate heat, but they can run quite hot. So just be aware of that. And two, I wanna hit one aspect head on because I know it will come up in the comments. Pricing. There are less expensive non-portable options or portable options that produce less light and Lytra sells those also. Like I said before, I use my Lytra Pros in particular quite often, but the Lytra Studio is the biggest, baddest, and most expensive solution. Pricing can vary depending on where you're located, so I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description of this video so that you can check that out for your area. We are Amazon affiliates, so when you use those links, purchase or not, it does help my channel immensely. So to wrap it up, the key with the Lytra Studio is if you are looking for a smaller lighting solution, you pick how many you need, which modifiers, and you have a single solution that covers many uses. To me, this can be instead of having indoor lighting, outdoor lighting, wired lighting, wireless lighting, it's all in one. I've got these three lights for the long run, so you may see them in videos. You will certainly see the results of the lighting in videos, so please ask me any questions in the comments below. And if this is something that you have looked at before or just learned about today and you're thinking about purchasing them, let me know that as well. It's a great community down in those comments. So please feel free to share your own experiences with these or other solutions also. And while you're headed down to the comments, please give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Those are two very helpful things for the channel. Thank you to Lytra for sending these lights. I really like them. And thank you for watching.